Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Forgotten City. Man, um, so we ended up back here at the beginning. I stole, let's go to the quest. So, when we were talking to Dacius, that little whisper told us to take it. So we stole it. We stole it from him. There's no way Dacius is going to sell me this. Okay, so we stole it from him and we broke the golden rule. The golden statues started coming to life, and I just followed a marker I saw, and it happened to be the magistrate, and he ran up here, performed that ceremonial thing, which killed him again, and the portal opened, and now we're back here. It's like, and that dude's standing there. Let's go see, what, let's see what's up here. Oh. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? <laughs> I'm Bill. We've had this conversation before. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius, and you're about to offer to take me to see Cynthia so he could tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? <laughs> uh, sorry to have bothered you. Uh, no problem. I gotta go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. What are you giving me? Huh, a zip line? Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Okay. All right. <laughs> See you around. We're gonna fall to our death now. Oh look, here it is, right here. How do we use it? Flashlight. Oh, here we go. Oh, check it out. Oh. Oh. Ooh. So our quest. Give some sylphium resin to Lucretia before Julia dies. Alright, let's do that. Now that we've gone back in time, I want to go talk to the Magistrate and see what he says. Because if that kind of reset everything, it's like resetting the day. Oh, this, this is cool. Whoa, was that golden statue there? What are you doing in here? Can't you see this woman is dying? She's been poisoned. She needs the resin of a plant called Silphium. But that Kulas Kumulates Decius won't give it to huh. me. So yeah, it's like it restarts the day and no one remembers you. That's wild. I have the Silphium resin here. What? Quick, give it here. Yulia, Yulia, you need to swallow this. Here, let me help you. So, she was dead last time, but she is alive this time. When we got here, she was already dead. She should be able to breathe normally. That was extraordinary. How did you know she needed this exact thing? And at this exact moment? Are you some kind of oracle? Yeah. Yes, I am. I heard she got sick earlier and went to find medicine. I'm a time traveler. Honestly, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Uh, look, if you don't want to tell me... I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. But no matter. <laughs> that was like the gods hearing my prayers and intervening. You just saved a person's life, and you should be proud of yourself. She might even be able to thank you herself in a few moments. And maybe she ah. can tell us who poisoned her, and who she meant when she was muttering about that snake's cruel black eyes. Interesting. In the meantime, I'm happy to help you with whatever it is you need. Um, <laughs> I keep hearing statues whispering. Is that normal? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean oh, to worry you. Oh, no. But no, that no. is definitely not normal. <laughs> there was one other person who claimed she could hear the statues talking to her. But that was Navia. Navia. And uh, she went a little mad. Why are you forget I said something. Okay, I'll be going now. That's a shame. Thanks again. So can we talk? Yulia's can we talk to Yulia now? Oh, she's alive. 
It's not to her. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's you. Sorry, I'm still a bit out of it. Uh, but thanks for trying to help me, I suppose. Thanks, I did Was help there you. something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. <laughs> um, yeah, what happened to you? As much as I'm grateful that you tried to help me, it's just not safe for me to talk about it. Please, no more questions. I want to know how someone poisoned you without breaking Are you worried about the golden rule? Yeah, I want to know this. The golden rule? <laughs> That's the least of my worries. The gods may be cruel, but Maliolus and Claudia are far crueler. Yeah, they poison you? Please, just leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. I can't help unless you tell me what happened. Oh, persistent as nemesis, aren't you? I can tell you, but it's a long saga. Well, I have all the time in the world. Right. I'd been here about a week. When it dawned on me, I'd be trapped here for the rest of my life. I could hardly breathe, and I knew I had to get out somehow. So when my new friend Aurelia offered me a secret way out... Oh, Aurelia? I would have done anything. And then I learned her asking price. A thousand denarii. She was supposed to be my friend. I told her it would take me years to save up that much. Yep. So she suggested I take out a loan from Maliolus. And I did. Huh. I think you'd be out of here before you were headed to pay you back. Huh? Let's see. Yeah, let's go with this one. I'm not proud of it, but... Yes. I was surprised he agreed to it, to be honest. But I was so happy to have the money I didn't question it. I had to sign an agreement. Saying I'd work off the debt over 30 years. Good lord. But I figured I'd be out of here so soon it wouldn't matter. I paid Aurelia. And she gave me her so-called way out. Do you want to know what it was? Poison? Hemlock. Oh no. I don't, I don't really know. Hemlock's like a plant, right? It's a deadly poison made from a plant. Oh, there we go. Drink this she said and you'll be out of here in no time of course i demanded my money back but she refused she pointed to a sign on her tavern saying let the buyer beware then she just looked at me with those cruel black eyes and she she laughed she immediately told maliolus i'd tried to escape without paying him back only he didn't seem upset or surprised at all. In hmm. fact, he just thanked her. And that's when I realized the two of them had planned the whole thing from the beginning. Huh, surely that would have broke the golden rule. That's what I said to the magistrate. I went to Sentius and begged for help, but he said the law was clear. I'd signed over my labor for 30 years, and there was nothing he could do. Oh. I thought about resisting, too. But Maliola said if I didn't submit, I'd break the golden rule. And I couldn't be responsible for all those deaths. So he locked me in his villa, confiscated everything I owned as collateral, and made me wear immodest humiliating outfits while I worked day in day out his wife Claudia was just as bad she sent me to work on an endless stream of futile demeaning tasks I'd be on my hands Damn. and knees scrubbing the floor clean for hours only for her to pour slop on it and hiss you missed a spot oh, these are some nasty Those people took everything from me but they forgot to confiscate one thing. My hemlock. Hmm. I see. I just wanted it to be over. 
But it seems I messed that up too. Should have drunk all of it. No, no, no. I brought it on myself. Yeah, you did. I trusted one of the most callous human beings I've ever met and tried to swindle the other. I don't know how I could have been so stupid. Oh, you're desperate. So what what'll happen to you now? When I've recovered, I expect their thug Domitius will come for me. He'll escort me back to their villa. And I'll be right back where I started. Only this time, I won't be able to lull myself to sleep at night with the thought of a permanent solution. Honestly, it would have been better if the poison had been allowed to run its course. Huh. I doubt it. It seems this is the fate the gods have chosen for me. For trying to escape. At least until someone breaks the golden rule. Huh. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Huh, you're not thinking of breaking it, are you? No, of course not. I would never. But I can dream. Uh. A lot. But it doesn't matter. I... I made a suicide pact with Ulpius last oh, night. Oh, no. He's in exactly the same position as I am. Maliolus and Aurelius set the same trap for him a month after they did it to me. He and I are in this together. He's probably already thrown himself from the bluff into Maliolus's villa by now. If so, I'd never be able to live with myself, knowing I broke my promise to him. Hmm. How to stop Ulpius from killing himself? Yep, because if he kills himself, that's breaking the golden rule. I doubt you could make it up to the bluff in time. What? I don't know who you I'm about are to run. Or why you seem so I'm determined fast, girl. to help me, but thank you. I'll see what I can do. All right, but please don't take too long. Yeah, we are right. Um, let's go ahead and figure this out. You mean my life story? Oh, well, I grew up as part of a big family in Rome. Me and three older sisters. Our father found good husbands for my sisters, but I wasn't, uh, cut out for that kind of life. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent merchant. It was a good life for a while. Until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan. But they fell on deaf ears. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost. Everyone. This fire sounds My awful. Told me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber with the crowds. I remember diving into the river and then the next thing I knew I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. Hmm. Thank you. But to be honest, sometimes I think dying in that fire might have been a blessing. Given what's happened since. Yeah, I get it. It's tough. Let's see, you know, way out of here? That's your idea of a joke. It's not funny. Go away. Oh, did I make you mad? What was it? I know what kind of person you are. Leave me alone. Oh, I didn't... I was just going through the options. I didn't know it was going to make you mad. Bro. Um. Yeah, we can do that one. We can obtain a bow. We have to find this chick. What's the point of origin? Oh, it's according to Cynthia, so we found back. Alright. 
I did that. Alright. I don't want to... We'll just leave that now. I want to go talk to the magistrate now. Well, that sucks. I didn't mean to... May Apollo keep you safe? Yeah. Well, that sucks. I didn't mean to cut her out of dialogue. I hurt her feelings. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, I'm just going to meet you at the magistrate. Alright, everybody, I'm here at the Magistrate. Let's talk to the Magistrate. I want to see what We're his... We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Huh, I'm Bill. We've had this discussion before. We have? Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the Golden Rule. Forcing me to create a portal in time to bring you here? I must have interested huh. you with figuring out who the culprit is. Only, I assume... Actually, I, we I was the culprit. And <laughs> had to start over. Is that about right? If so, what happened? Um... I broke it. You broke it? In Pluto's name? <laughs> you do that. Uh, I was trying to save someone's life. It seems you failed spectacularly. Look, it's what? unfortunate, but all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered and do better next time. Now, I assume you sought me out again for a reason. Thank you. I'll hmm. be waiting here for news. Okay, that's interesting. Why well, do I say we failed? I guess because he had to do this, the thing. <laughs> it's funny, I broke it. <laughs> Whatever are you wearing? <laughs> I can take it off. I'm Bill. Citizen. Oh, you walking, bro. Let's go. Woo! Alright, let's, uh... Stop right here. Let's see. Uh, what's this one? Find a way into that place. I hear Nevia locked herself in the palace. I should find her. Okay. Can I get out of here, please? Oh, there's no markers. I'm guessing that thing up there is the palace. Keep an eye out for Santilla, would you? Yeah, whatever. I guess that, uh, I didn't sh I show you that big building up there is the, uh, palace. No, I keep pushing the wrong button. Uh, what's Thorn in the Paw? Figure out a treatment for rheumatism. I'll need to speak to Navia to find a solution. Well, I mean, we gotta find her. So, let's go see if that's the palace. Uh, while I walk here, just, uh, I don't know if I've explained this so far. I can't. Uh, yeah. Isn't the great temple majestic? Yeah, sure. Uh, I try to keep these episodes, or these videos, not episodes, but these videos around, you know, 15 to 20 minutes long just for, uh, purposes for me. I stayed pretty busy with the work in school, uh, and I'm just doing this as, I'm just doing this for fun, and we'll, you know, just see what it would turn out as. Uh, I haven't really been playing a lot of video games here in a while, and, you know, this is definitely the, the big house. And, uh... So I'm just trying to, uh, I don't know, I just kind of want to get back into it, and I thought it'd be fun to do this with YouTube. Um, I know this is kind of, this is a very dialogue-driven game. I don't know if you like that, or some of you like that, or some of you do. I, I like it. I find it enjoyable to play. Um, just to let you know in the future, I'll, you know, I, I do plan on playing different t types of games. Um, and mainly games, you know... Some I have played before and some I haven't played before, but we'll just see how that goes. But, uh, yeah. That's gonna be it for this episode. Or this, yeah, this episode. I could want to say video, but I guess this video would be better to say. Yeah, don't, don't listen to me. I'm all over the place. That'll be it for this video. Uh, next time we will try to figure out how to get into this palace. And we'll try to investigate and see if we can find Navia. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Hey, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time for some more Forgotten City. Later.